Rachel here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing the Google chooses my makeup challenge if you are new here subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you get notified when I upload a brand new video this video was inspired by Nikki tutorials I will have her video in the description below go watch that it is so good go with this challenge is basically what you do is you go to Google images and put the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name and then put look afterwards once you've done that you press go and the first image that pops up the colors that are in that image is the colors that you have to use for your makeup look now this challenge is going to be interesting because I've never done a challenge like this where I've had to come up with a makeup look basically on the spot or just have to think of a makeup look straight away. I've always planned my makeup looks, hopefully to make sure that they look right. <laughs> but here we go. If you want to see my creative juices get flowing and see if I have some creativity, then keep on watching the video. Let's get on with the video. Okay, now I have Google right here on my tablet. I'm going to go in and put my initials, which is RS for Rachel Simmons, and then put look afterwards. Now going into Google Images, the first picture that comes up is, oh, it's some cars. So the first picture that I see here is this photo right here. As during this video, I'll just put the video up here so you guys can see the picture of it as we're going along. And by the looks, the first colours that I see out of this photo is red, grey, black, and white. Now, this... Mm, I reckon I could work with this. I'm going to have to do a little bit of thinking, but I have I think I've got this. So, having a look at this video, the first colour that I'm thinking about going with is red. Because one, that's the lightest colour. White I can easily use as a highlight colour. But for a transition sort of colour, I'm going to go in with red. Now, let me just find some of the stuff that I may need for this. I am back and now I have the colours that I need to do this sort of look. The first thing I'm going to do is put a transition colour, which the lightest colour that I see here on this picture is red. Now, the red that I'm gonna go for is by Harry M. It's, the palette is called Fall In Love Eyeshadow Palette. And the first color I'm going to go for is that red that is on the top. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to put it in the, on the lid of my eye, just using a small eye blending brush. Wow. This is the first time me using this palette, and that is very pigmented. It's actually quite good that it's very pigmented. Now, what I'm thinking about doing by having a look at this, it has grey and black in it. So I'm thinking about going for maybe like a little bit of a smoky eye type look. So I'm going to round this off at the end here. So I get that sort of smoke blend, if that's even a sentence. <laughs> Now, once I'm finished with that red color, I'm thinking about going in with a gray at the end to give it that sort of smoky look. The gray that I'm going to be using is from this small Beauty Works palette. There is some gray shades there. I'm gonna choose the bottom one because it has a little bit of shimmer to it, which is going to give this look a little bit of like a smoky glam to it. Just using my small blending eye brush I'm just going to take that gray and I'm just going to put it on the end there in circular motions until I get to nearly halfway of the eye
Now that I've done that sort of grey smoke in the outer portion of the eye, now I need to add a little bit of lighter colour to it. Considering that we have two fairly dark colours, now I'm going to add a little bit of white to the inner portion of the eye to give it a little bit of a lighter look to it. The eye palette that I'm going to be using for the white is this is just the Beauty Wax palette that we just that I just used. I'm just using the white that's on the end there and it has a shimmer through it as well. So that will hopefully tie in with the with the grey shimmer that I just put on. Just with a flat eye blending brush and putting that from the inner corner of the eye to where the grey is. That's actually quite nice. I like that. It's sort of acting like a little bit of a highlight. So it's like highlighting my eyes a bit. Which is nice. I actually quite like that. I really like that a lot. Now, once I have done that, I'm going to go in with my small eye blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Now, once I have blended that out and softened that out a little bit, I'm going to take a small slanted eye brush. I'm just going to take the black that is on the Barry M palette at the bottom here. <laughs> I'm just going to take that black and I'm going to put it underneath as eyeliner because there's definitely black on the car. I'm just putting that along the bottom lash line. Now once that I've put that black down, it might look a little bit weird, but I'm going to take my small eye blending brush and I'm just going to soften that out. Now, once that is done, I'm thinking about going in with that white again and putting it just at the inner part of the eye underneath, just to give it a little bit more of a lighter look to it. Just getting a small slanted eye brush and just putting that from the inner corner underneath to where we've just put the black. Now that is done, I'm going to go in and put mascara on. The mascara that I'm using is the Saks Studio Mascara in Black. I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to put mascara on. Now mascara is on and I'm sort of feeling this, I'm actually quite feeling this look. It's sort of like a trying to look sexy but I'm also here for the party as well. That's what this look is sort of giving me. Now I'm gonna go in with lipstick. The lipstick that I'm using is the Nutrimetics Frosted Grape Lipstick. It's a nice purple color that will tie in with the red and the smoke that we just did. Now just to give my lips a little bit of shimmer I'm gonna go in with the Stevin Professional Lip Gloss. It's just a pink lips lip gloss that has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm just gonna put that on just to give it a little bit of glam. Oh, and it's like, hello, honey. I can definitely see you. Now, that is the finished look. How do you guys think I went? Let me know down in the comments. If you think that I did very well, give this video a like. I am actually really living this look. Like, I'm actually loving this. I think this is really nice. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload more videos. I'm just really liking this look. I didn't think that it would turn out like this good. Now, if you guys would like to see any particular video videos, let me know down in the comments. I am happy to hear your suggestions. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.